Hey guys, it's Vance here, uh, back with another video. This one's gonna be a little different. Uh, most of mine are, but anyway, so I, I do enjoy uh, my fair share of uh, nice kicks. Uh, these are my Air Jordan 1 Retail uh, Retro High OG Hyper Royals that I snagged off of the sneakers app. Um, and I'm gonna use those as a, uh, as a um, basis for what a retail pair is gonna look like. Um, and the reason I'm making this video because I got this one in today and yes, this is a replica uh, sneaker or foo-foo, whatever you want to call them, fake. These are replicas and I got these off of basskick.com. Um, basskick is pretty well known in the uh, replica world on YouTube and people that enjoy uh, shoes and can't really afford the real things um, so they go the replica route and uh, I just wanted to buy my first one just to see what see what it's all about and uh, I want to say Bass Kick's name because first of all um, I didn't really have the greatest experience with them and um, so I wanted to do this review positive or negative depending on how it was when I got them and I just got them in to get today on DHL. It came in this big brown box here. And then uh, it came in this. And the box is pretty damaged. Um, but nonetheless. So here we go. I'm just going to do like a comparison. It's not a fair comparison because this isn't the same shoe. Um, these are the uh, LA to Chicago actually. The LA to Chicago. I think they are retailing or reselling for $700 right now. Uh, so I, I paid $160. There you go. So $160 from Bass Kick. For these and uh, I pay retail for these and here's the retail sticker for my uh, sorry about the hair these are for my hyper hyper royals that I bought from the sneakers app for 170 bucks there's the sticker for that one that's the retail pair and here's the sticker for the replica uh, Air Jordan 1 high OG defiant Court purple, black sail, violet court, voila. It looks like voila and noir. Suggested retail 175. You guys let me know in the comments if this is real. Uh, was it really $175? Is that the real colorway for this particular shoe? The LA to Chicago's in my size. So there you go. Um, retail replica. Now, first things first. I don't hear this a lot on um, on these kind of 1v1s on the replicas, but I wanted to show you guys something that I noticed with my handy dandy UV light. Um, retail, there's nothing on the box. I was curious about the box because no one ever really shows the box on the UV. Um, but on over here, check this out. See that right there? That is some sort of Chinese stamp. And there's another one right there. It was more smeared, but you can see a Chinese uh, uh, text right there. And there's something over here as well. It says M circled. Again, retail, there's nothing on here. Nothing lights up. There's no secrets on here. But that one has that right there, the stamps. Um, so that's interesting. There's, there's nothing else on the rest of the box. But there's two stamps, and I think there's one on the other, on the other end, but it's, it's too smeared to, to tell. But they're stamping the boxes, so that's your first telltale that it is not a, a retail pair. So uh, you're not fooling anybody with these shoes, just uh, uh, letting you know, because these shoes are not, these are terrible, in my opinion. Now, this is my first replica, so take that with a grain of salt, but they're terrible. The box, the shoes, I'm about to show it to you. Um, I can just shine the light over here. We'll quick turn this light off. Check this out. Clean as a whistle. Nothing nowhere. I'll show. I'm gonna come back to it here in a minute, though. All right. All right. So let's open up the boxes. There's nothing in here because they're already right here. There you go. Some kind of strange stitch sticker there. Looks like it used to be a QC, but this is the retail pair. Um, and I wear these, so I wear my sneakers. But there's the white laces. I took all the laces out. Came with. Blue laces and white laces. Took all those out because I actually bought a pair of gray laces with metal. And I think that looks really good. I'll shine the UV one more time. She's 
clean. This looks real good. Check out the back tab. Look at that. Perfect. Again, of course, I got this from the sneakers app, so. Let's see. See there? All right. So that's my retail pair of Hyper Royals. Now, right, let's open up the box for this one. Let's see what we got in, inside. And, I, and that looks sim familiar. That looks like the right paper for the LA to Chicago's. And they're in here. I've already taken them out, but I just put them back in just for your presentation. So we'll take them out. Put the box back. Okay. Now. This is what I wanted to show you. All right. Retail. Replica. Okay. UV light. Check out how bad this is. See that right there? Guidelines. Glue. Guidelines galore. Three guidelines, one popping out for no reason. Guidelines. Guidelines everywhere. Three guidelines. Four guidelines. One popping out again to go with this guideline. Don't know what that is. Guidelines all the way around. Look how bad that is. And there's, there's like yellow stuff on the bottom here, all along the bottom. Look at that, see that yellow stuff at the bottom? It's almost like they didn't finish the paint, the paint job. Look at all the guidelines. Back here. No guidelines, nowhere. And that's just lint, but there's no guidelines, nowhere. No glue of mine. Perfect. Watch. You can see it from way back here. Check that out. Look at all of it. Look at all of it coming off. Retail. Replica. It's terrible, isn't it? So let's take a look at the back tab. Look at that. See that? Guideline. Guideline. I don't know what, see, look at that, see that? It's like they didn't finish the paint job. Guidelines. Top looks fine, inside looks fine. Check it out. Okay. Guidelines. Look at all this. Look at the guidelines. Look at them. Everywhere. Littered with guidelines everywhere. Look at the guidelines. It's four. Look at all the glue. The, or the... Uh, they didn't paint it thick enough or something right there. You can see it. Look at it. Or the, either glue or paint. Replica. Other side of the retail. Now, guys, there's uh, reviewers, YouTubers, YouTubers that really, really love their replicas, and I can't say much about them because I've never had them. This is my first pair, but look, there is a difference. For them to say that you know, uh, it's not worth it to get something like this. If you can't afford the resale for these, don't buy them. Wait for the next ones. But to say that these are basically the same, come on. Okay, maybe guidelines aren't everything, but we're going to see how it holds up. I'm going to use them, wear them just like I wear these. If I show you the bottom of these, you, you'll know I'll wear them. But anyway, guys, so keep keep that in mind. I got these from Bass Kick. The reason why I had a bad uh, experience with them is because when I, I was talking to somebody I, on the WhatsApp or whatever when I was making the transaction with them, I think it was a girl, uh, the same girl that's always on the Instagram for Bass Kick. When I was ta talking to them, she kept saying, you know, my friend or whatever. I think it was the same girl from the Instagram. But anyway, I kept telling her, I, I was asking her, you know, these are special because they're LA to Chicago. 
And so I was asking her, do these fade? Do these, can you get this to come off to a Chicago colorway? And she said, no, they don't change color. But if you go into the Basket website and you look at these LA to Chicago's, you actually see on this side of the one pictured in there, right around here, there's there's red scuff. It's scuffing off to red. And so I saw it in the picture. And she kept saying, no, it color doesn't come off. Check. It's the same uh, shoes as, the, as in the picture. And I explained to her, I said, well, if it's the same shoe as in the picture, the picture shows that it's scuffing off to red, which would tell me that these actually... Um, fade into uh, Chicago colorway. So I I can't say whether they will or whether they won't, but I can tell you right now, she's saying that they don't. I know I see red leather on the inside right here. It doesn't mean these fades away, so we're going to find out. I'll keep you updated on that. So I don't know if they fade away. She, they did come with these, all three laces. They look decent. Um, but same goes for both shoes. They're both just as bad as each other. Look at that. Guidelines galore. Look at that. Yeah. Both shoes are just as bad as one another. Guidelines everywhere. Just full of guidelines. So you're not fooling anybody with these. For sure. There's no stamps on these. Um, from the factory. It's just this, this only stamp is the stamp that's on the box. Some kind of Chinese stamp. No stamps anywhere on these. Just guidelines everywhere. Um, let's check the, uh, let's check the tongue tag. Let's see if there's a difference. I didn't check this before, before the video. Yes, there's going to be a, obviously a color difference. Retail replica they do feel different this tag is bigger this one's much smaller of course it says SB so it might it's made supposed to be uh, bigger because um, I don't have a one for one but those are the tags. Let's shine some UV. Check that out. This entire retail pair tongue lights up UV. This one does not. Is that a shoe specific or is it just because it's a replica? I have no idea. This is the inside lighting up, which this one does too. But this entire th tongue lights up UV oh, that's interesting it lights up UV inside here but not in here so the replica lights up inside the dots it does not in this one the stitching looks good I don't mind the stitching it looks fine in my opinion but these are huge differences between a retail and a replica. See, tag tongue doesn't light up. Let's check the inside. I had to step in here real quick and show. Pretty glossy. Wings logo looks good. Uh, the other thing I noticed was on this only this panel only it is a uh, see there right, get off of there the leather is loose on this panel only not on that one see the inside of that one see the inside of that one really bad very loose you can see it other side no problem the, the leather or the fake leather, all this stuff, it feels good, feels decent. The purple feels good. This is pretty hard. Um, the purple's pretty soft. The gold is pretty soft. Or whatever color you want to call this, yellow. But the white is hard. 
and um, the checker is hard, the check mark is hard, the check, Nike swoosh, there you go, swoosh is hard, um, but yeah, so that one spot right, look at that, look how terrible that, and that's the inside, so you're not going to see it, so there's another nitpick I have on this particular one from Bass Kick, um, this is my first one, so first impressions are pretty big for me, and it's not very good, there's the toe height, it's very similar to my retail pair, so I'm not complaining about that. I wanted to show you something though, and the reason why I brought this, brought, put this video back up, or put a new post of this new video, is right here. Check this out. Tongue tag. Nothing. Nothing. Plain tongue tag. I didn't notice it earlier because I was doing the video and I wasn't paying attention. But there you go. I'm sure you saw it in the last clip. replica so i do not condone buying fake sneakers i don't i bought it to show you guys am i gonna wear it absolutely i won't sell it and i'm gonna wear it with pride but it's just i i, I wouldn't encourage anyone to go out and buy stuff like this it's just uh it's not good if you can't if you can't afford resale, just wait and get another different color. They're going to come out with thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of Jordan 1s. Just get a different color. You'll start liking it. You'll hit on sneakers every now and then. I do. Um, I hit on the, the Hyper Royals. I hit on a couple of other ones. Um, so I'm not terrible with the luck. Um, the stitching, like I said, is okay. See how that's a little low on the white section up here? It should be high like that side. Look at that. See? Black stitching is too low. That's the only stitch issue I, I saw on the on both shoes. The other, rest of the stitching is pretty good. The stitching right here is a little thick. And right here is a little thick. Uh, you can do a little trimming. And obviously that paint, that, that glue is terrible right there. But anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. Nothing on this side. This is just a... You know, all these fakes that I see on YouTube... Um, and replicas that I see on YouTube from these YouTubers that, that review replicas. I mean, they're almost spot on every time I watch a video. It's almost like they put on this facade that that replicas are cool and, and, and they're basically the same shoe and basically from the same factory and they're just being backdoored because the, they didn't pass QC checks and stuff like that. I don't think so, guys. I just don't. I don't agree with that. These things are... As fake as they get, are they better than they used to be? Absolutely. But uh, know what you're buying. I don't. I don't condone buying them. Go for go for the real stuff. If you can't afford them, get something else. Go to the mids or something. Okay, guys. Um, all in all, I think the best part of the sneakers is probably the the uh, the Air Jordan logo. It's pretty good. It's glossy. It's embossed. Trademark on there. Uh, the R and the D are together. Um, that's the best part. And of course, they they never get good, do bad on the soles. Those look retail to me. And I, and I looked on back to back between the gray ones and these. They look retail. Um, just wear them for what they are. They're replicas. They're not going to be anything more or less. And um, hopefully I get more better luck next time if I do decide to go buy another one. But it won't be from Bass Kick with me okay see i wear mine most most hair there's the insides check with uv the sole or the uh what is that called whatever that is lights up does not light up sorry about that so the inside lights up here they do not light up in here. The sticker does. Oh, that's funny too. The sticker on the retail does not light up. The 10, the size 10 sticker, the size 10 sticker in this one does light up. There's so many differences between these two. The back side, neither light up. This one lights up a little bit, but not much. So there you go. There's the comparison between the two in the back. Mm. 
And that's another thing. Check it out. I just noticed that. None of these, none of the stitching lights up on the replica. All the stitching, see the stitching? It doesn't light up. So guys, bass kick is a no-go for me. Sorry about that. I wish I could have because I heard good things about them. But it's a no-go for me. And I will keep you updated whether this actually changed to the Chicago colorway. I'm not going to try. I might try a little spot just cause, out of curiosity. But and there's, there's that. You can see there. There's that Chinese symbol from the replicas. So they're not really trying to fool anybody. These are terrible, in my opinion. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you like content like this, please subscribe and like the video. It helps me out. I'm trying to grow. I, I, I put all kinds of content on here, not just shoes. This is actually my first shoe content. I did have some Adidas uh, Ultra Boost that I used to review and look at and tell everybody about. I, I love those. But the Jordan 1s is my new thing. I, I really love these things. I love winning on the sneakers app. I'm going for the, uh, the releases of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this week. The Pollens. Uh, Travis Jack, Travis uh, Scott, um, Air Jordan 1 Lowe's, and the women's Seafoam Green. So I'm going for all three of those this week and this weekend. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching so much, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.